In this video, we can discuss about introduction to biotechnology. Here, we will discuss definition, development or history and applications of biotechnology. So, what is mean by biotechnology? From the word itself, we can understand it's a combination of biology and technology. So the term was introduced by an Hungarian engineer in 1970 by Carl and Erkins and who is considered as father of biotechnology. And we can define the term biotechnology in different way. We can define biotechnology as any technological application that use biological system, living organism, cell, tissue, explant or derivatives to make or modify the product for the process for a specific use in different fields of agriculture, food and other industries. Also, we can define as biotechnology as the application of principles of engineering and biological science to create new product from raw materials of biological origins. Now, coming to the development or history of biotechnology. While discussing the history or development, we can divide the development into three era ancient biotechnology that is before 1800 classical biotechnology from 1800 to the middle of 20th century century and modern biotechnology from 1939 so what were the uh, important discoveries or development during the ancient biotechnology that is before 1800 Biotechnology were used before 1800 even though they don't know the exact mechanism like uh, for the domestication or uh, form for the uh, use in the uh, home they were used the agriculture uh, to uh, produce their foods and they used fertilizer natural fertilizer to improve their food production etc and after the uh, procuring the food they use cold caves to preserve the food for long term. So they had used the food preservation techniques and they had prepared different uh, food products like cheese, curd, bread, vinegar, alcohol, beverages like wines by different fermentation process even though they don't know exact mechanism of fermentation process and they don't have any uh, exact uh, equipments. But they had produced some uh, pharmaceutical or uh, food products. Now they had done the cross breeding of animals for improving the production of the product obtained from the animals, like uh, in, to improve the milk or to improve the uh, cot uh, wools, etc. So these were the important development during the ancient biotechnology. Now coming to the classical biotechnology that is the era from 1800 to the middle of 20th century there were a lot of discoveries or development in the uh, biotechnological field uh, like law of inheritance which means uh, uh, the transfer of genetic information to the next generation and this will cause the resemblance and variance between the parents and the uh, next generation of springs and also uh, this may be the cause for different genetical disease. So uh, that was discovered in 1822 to 1884 and uh, Charles Darwinson uh, who had posted uh, a theory on uh, evolution that is natural selection, evolution and natural selection which means uh, a permanent or uh, regular use of any organ will lead to development of new organs or uh, survival of the fittest organism um, will be held in natural process. So that was the discovery in 1890, uh, 1809 to 1888 and uh, in, in 1833 uh, Robert Brown discovered the nucleus which is the main genetic material in the cell and in 1888 uh, Hendrich William coined the term chromosome which is present inside the nucleus and which is responsible for the genetic constituents 
and uh, in 1817 to 1819 different uh, vaccines were produced the important one was smallpox vaccine by william james p and william johnson in 1857 to 1927 he coined the some term genotype and phenotypes and these are the terms uh, which will indicate the sum total of genetic con composition of an human that is known as genotype and uh, the phenotype is expression of the genes in different environmental conditions and in 1828 alexander fleming discovered penicillin serendipitously while he was doing some fermentation process or he discovered some of the product which is obtained in the fermentation process is uh, inhibiting the growth of microorganisms so that was that was lead to a uh, discovery of antibiotics so these are the some important uh, uh, developments during the classical biotechnological era and from 1913 onwards the biotechnological field varied like anything and it is known as modern biotechnology there was a lot of discoveries in this uh, technological uh, era like uh, Watson and Crick uh, discovered a double helical model of the DNA in 1953 and Jansen Sark was the first one who done the cell culture in monkey kidney cells in 1955 in 1973 Cohen and Boyer uh, discovered the recombinant DNA technology and which was the major era during the biotechnological development because it will use to gene it, it had lead to the gene cloning and it had to mean uh, lead to the discovery of different pharmaceutical product like insulins and growth hormone recombinant uh, by a recombinant DNA method or gene cloning method and Kohler and Milstein in 1975 discovered monoclonal antibody so that uh, uh, production uh, by hybridoma technology by combining the cancer cells with the beta lymphocytes cell to produce the uh, antibody for an, a lifelong period of time and uh, 1975 colony hybridization and southern plotting uh, for the determining of different proteins dna etc and in 1981 uh, transgenic animals were produced by incorporating gene from animal to the mice and 1983 Carrie Mullis discovered polymerized chain reaction for determining or for amplification of a segment of DNA uh, then uh, gene therapy development of gene therapy for the treatment of uh, genetical uh, transmitted diseases from uh, parents to offsprings then Clean, uh, cloning in animals were discovered then human genomic project development of CRI, SPR and transferring of memory etc. So there was a lot of development during this modern technological era even now also the development is going on. Now coming to the applications of biotechnology this is more important uh, for exam point of view. While considering the application, we can uh, divide the application into five main, main branches like animal biotechnology, medical biotechnology, industrial biotechnology, environmental biotechnology and agro biotechnology. So let's discuss one by one. First one is animal biotechnology. Here biotechnology is used in animal for the betterment or uh, for the production of the pro uh, to improve the product uh, that is obtained from the animals. There are mainly two type of uh, application in animal biotechnology transgenics. It means the transfer of specific gene from one organism to another organism and this gene have some capacity to uh, express their production of some specific product obtained from that animals. So that is the transgenic animals. Uh, so we can produce transgenic cow, uh, sheep, etc. to improve the milk and uh, the wool production, etc. Now coming to the second method that is gene cloning. Uh, the difference between transgenic and gene cloning is transgenic is done in an animal to produce an, an, another animal with the improved quality. But in case of gene cloning, it is done in even in bacteria to produce multiple copies of the cells which have some capacity or which have some genes. 
so uh, it is the process of producing genetically identical individual of an organism either naturally or artificially and which are used to produce multiple copies of mammals here dates uh, to uh, cattle sheep uh, goat horse mules cat rat and mice has been cloned uh, it was begin with the first cloned animal that is a sheep which is known as dolly and uh, this is mainly done to produce large quantity of egg, milk or blood. So that is the first application in animal biotechnology. Now coming to the second application that is the medical biotechnology. First one is recombinant DNA technology. So here uh, the gene which is responsible for some specific trait is combined with the uh, gene or vector of from the bacteria and this is transferred into another host cell to produce a large scale production of the expression of the genes like hormones and the bodies enzymes and proteins these are the, some examples of the products which are obtained by recombinant dna technology human insulin was uh, prepared by recombinant dna technology for the treatment of diabetic mellitus Somatostatin and somatotropin, these are recombinant DNA produced growth hormone which is used to treat pituitary dwarfism, clotting factor 18 which is used to treat uh, different clotting disorders, interferon, uh, it is used to produce, uh, treat a different cancer condition, epidermal growth factor and fibroblast growth factor is used for the ulcer treatment, erythropoietin is used for the treatment of anemia. Tissue plasminogen activator in heart disorder, serum albumin as plasma supplements, then monoclonal antibody in the treatment of various cancers. So that is the application of uh, recombinant DNA technology in medical biotechnology. Now second application in medical biotechnology is gene therapy. So this gene can be used or uh, DNA is to supplement or uh, or alter the gene within an individual for the therapy of different uh, genetically transmitted diseases from their parents to offspring like uh, inherited liver diseases beta lymphocyte acute lymphopathic lymphoplastic leukemia non hodgkin lymphoma inherited disease called epidermolysis bullas and chronic granulomatous diseases Parkinson's diseases, influenza, HIV, and hepatitis. So these, in all of these drug or these disease can be treated by using genes by supplementing or altering the genes within an individual cell. So that is the second application in medical biotechnology, gene therapy. Now coming to third application, that is the stem cell therapy. As we all know, stem cell are biological cell that can differentiate into other type of cell and can be divided to produce more of the same type of the stem cells. So these are the cells which can be differentiated into uh, different organs like uh, uh, we can uh, we can differentiate this stem cell to liver cells, heart cells, muscle cell etc. So uh, successful or, uh, or a successful stem therapy can be used to uh, treat uh, different conditions like uh, like hemopoietic disorders like acute and chronic leukemia melitoplastic uh, syndrome aplastic anemia and sickle cell anemia and also can be used to treat uh, immunodeficiency disorders like severe combined immunodeficiency uh, uh, like uh, uh, diseases so this is uh, stem cell therapy now coming to uh, next application that is the tissue engineering so here the use of combination of cell engineering and material methods and suitable biochemical and physiochemical factors to improve or replace the biological tissue and uh, the main applications of the uh, tissue engineering is the, uh, for the production of bio artificial windpipe or bio artificial organs in vitro meat artificial pancreas artificial cartilage which is uh, found between the joints and artificial skin and all these are produced by uh, uh, different tissue engineering technique by combining the cell uh, then engineering and material methods and suitable biochemical factors.